<clears throat> hey everyone and welcome to an episode of what I like to call I don't know let's brick together <laughs> in this case I'm actually showing myself uh, building one of the uh, Lego sets in this case it's Lego set 75271 which is Luke Skywalker's land speeder and um, basically I'm kind of playing this through about 800 times speed so you don't have to put up with me uh, <laughs> building it in the slowest means possible or even watching <laughs> me uh, make plenty of mistakes on the way through so I wanted to make this video and just kind of do like a little bit of um, mini commentary as I'm building this uh, land speeder <clears throat> so the part I'm on right now is uh, basically just building out this tiny little spot for the the Jawas and so it's a little bit of an outcropping a little bit of the uh, the kind of the I don't know. It looks like probably like a little bit of dirt, a little bit of a cave, and so it kind of hangs out. So your little Jawa. And so I've already built a Jawa there. You can see even C3PO towards the lower part of the screen. And so now I'm kind of punching my way through on building the the land speeder. And I actually enjoyed quite a bit on making this land speeder. And it was very straightforward. The uh, the colors of the pieces was great. Not so much of your normal kind of a Star Wars style, always gray all the time. In this case, there's a little bit of variety in the color and the more of the uh, the kind of the the sand and kind of brownish tones. But all in all, I really did enjoy building this one and just watching kind of uh, the video and doing just like a mini commentary at 800 times speed. <laughs> so in reality, this one took about give or take about an hour to build even taking your time and just kind of uh pacing yourself and just kind of enjoying all the little bits and pieces of doing the uh this build was a lot of fun and so you'll basically get a lot of uh, enjoyment and there's a lot of good techniques in here as well too um you can see here are the actual the uh the stickers are kind of a pain and there's quite a bit of stickers and and on the front of the land speeder, you'll kind of have this little bit of the the grill part. And I'll admit, I didn't do that very well, <laughs> lining those stickers up. <laughs> but all in all, the uh, the overall kind of feel of the, the land speeder was a lot of fun to make. And so it's not necessarily going to hover, but those little um, kind of circular <laughs> parts at the bottom uh, help it give the illusion that it's kind of raised. And so here I am just kind of going about my way, um, building out the, the lands here, which is the, the vast majority of the instructions. And so there's a cool little part in the uh, in the uh, landscape itself. It's a cool little container that lets you um, put, you know, kind of uh, accessories of leaks in this case, like the uh, kind of the, uh, the quad noculars or um, a soon to be lightsaber <laughs> if you really wanted to put it in there. And here I am just kind of struggling through the uh, the good old um, stickers again. There's quite a bit of stickers on this one. So if you wanted to refrain from put, putting it on, it does get, save you a little bit of the effort. But at the same time, it adds to the, the, the detail. And here I am kind of building out Luke with this cool little kind of, I don't know, duster type of thing. And the cloth is actually different. It's not like the harder plastic cloth, but very soft very breathable fabric to be honest even though it's a tiny little minifigure size and so here I'm kind of making my way through building out all the little intricate pieces for the uh, for like the three engines of the land speeder oh I'm sorry that's actually the uh, that kind of the steering <laughs> the steering wheel and the consoles and so usually around this part yeah you start to build out the uh, the actual pieces for those three engines and man those those made use of some stickers as well too and it was okay it was amazingly uh difficult but at the same time uh, i really wanted to get those stickers perfect so i kept trying over and over again <laughs> And so kind of rinse and repeat, you get all three out oh, here. It looks like I kind of put that in reverse. Make sure I got it right on the box. <laughs> but the nice part is, you know, it, it actually had a little bit of variety. The, uh, the right 
side of the kind of the engine of the land speeder versus the left side actually had different components and so it kind of gives it more of a, uh, a kind of a wear and tear look which is pretty cool as well but now look at me go all these stickers I did my best to try and <laughs> to try and line up to make it look uh, to add the, uh, the extra Star Wars flair and you notice uh, even this top part now is kind of the uh, there's like a trunk and you can put that part right there and so it kind of covered up the, uh, the accessories that you wanted to add for Luke and here's a little bit more detail right on top and so say uh, it looks like a little bit of the rust but all in all you can kind of see it kind of kind of formulated it's starting to look pretty good and so before that's all done here it is in its kind of finished state with c3po with luke you can even lower this here as well as pop out the top to get your accessories so pretty cool pretty cool for a small little build they put a lot of good a lot of good thought into the actual mechanics of this one But making my way through a little slot for your kind of your uh, rifle blaster and with that very cool you're all good to go a little bit of Jawa a little bit there and so that's it for the uh, Lego 75271 and that is a uh, Luke's land speeder that's it for this one for this episode of mm, I don't know let's break together <laughs> all right thanks everyone bye